Let's get right into it with the first part, which is the part played in the intro and the verse. Remember, like all my videos, lyrics with chords on top of them and the strumming patterns covered in the song are in the description below this video. So open that and you can use that to follow along with this video. All right, so grab your guitar and let's get started with learning the first part. And if you're a complete beginner, you're probably gonna wanna start off with my free intro to guitar crash course right here, and then come back to this tutorial once you've done that. So grab an E minor and let's try that out. We've got all down strums and it's gonna be on the one, the and of two, and the four. So one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. And all you're gonna do is play the strumming pattern once on each chord before switching. Let's try it all out together. In the pre-chorus, we're gonna use the same strumming pattern from the verse, but we're just gonna switch up the chords a little bit. So this time, we've got a minor. And we're gonna play that for twice as long. Then we're gonna to go to a G, and then we're gonna end on a D. And otherwise, we've already been through everything, so it's pretty simple. So let's try that one out. Finally, we're gonna move into the last part we need to play this entire song, the chorus. If you're enjoying this video so far, please hit that thumbs up button and let me know in the comments below. It really does make more of a difference than you think. And make sure to subscribe if you want the fastest way to learn your favorite songs and improve your guitar playing. Let's try out the strumming pattern for this section. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. So pause the video and try that out a few times on your own. And like always, once you've got the strumming pattern down, let's try adding in the chords. Now the one thing to watch out for here is that the first three chords, G, E minor, and A minor, are played for two run-throughs of the strumming pattern instead of one. The C and D are just played for one. So watch out for that and let's try it out. So then the end of the chorus is going to be slightly different. We're going to go back to our verse chord progression and we're just going to play each of them for four beats each. So it's really simple. And if you can play those parts, you can play the entire song. One final note is if you want to play along with the actual recorded version of the song, you need to put your capo on the first fret and play everything else the exact same. I like to play it without a capo though, because first off, a lot of you guys don't have a capo. And the second thing is that without the capo, you just sing the song a little bit lower, which is easier for most people, especially guys. But if you want to play along with the actual song, you are going to need that capo. And I've got a link to my favorite one in the description below if you want to check that out. Once you practice all those guitar parts a few times, let's bring it all together to try it out in a full song playthrough. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next five minute guitar lesson.